Hi, I'm Patrick Boch, editor for Cyber Protection Magazine. Would you think that a cable such as this one could be a danger to your computer? Probably not. We've teamed up with security awareness company No Before and their chief hacking officer, Kevin Mitnick, to show you how dangerous a simple cable such as this one can be. Hi, I'm Kevin Mitnick. I'm No Before's chief hacking officer. Due to the global pandemic, I'm filming this demonstration from the comfort of my home office. So today I want to discuss how dangerous it is to plug in any device into your computer from an unknown source. And in some cases, it could appear to even be a trusted source. So we've all learned over the last five or 10 years, never plug in a USB flash drive because a bad actor could weaponize these drives. So when you plug it in, it installs malware on your computer. But what about other devices like USB mice, a charging cable for your phone, or other devices that you plug into the USB port? Could that be dangerous? So that's exactly what I want to demonstrate today is how dangerous it could be to simply plug in a charging cable into your computer because a threat actor could get the keys to the kingdom, namely all your login credentials you store in your browser and even access to the websites you're currently logged into, even if you're using two-factor authentication. So let me show you the setup here. On my left, I have the victim's computer. On my right is the attacker computer. So what's the pretext here? The pretext is I want to target somebody that's sitting in a coffee shop. I walk in with my phone. I walk in with my cable. The phone will be dead. And I basically ask the target if they'll please charge my phone for just a moment until it powers up because I need to make an urgent call. So that's the pretext. So let's go over to the victim's computer here. We can see that we're logged into Gmail. We're also logged in here to the uh, Amazon cloud. We're logged into Facebook. We're logged into Twitter. Uh, we're logged into Office 365 here. And if we look over here, we have stored credentials, several different websites here with stored passwords. So this is the information I, as the threat actor, want to steal and gain access to. So the victim goes ahead and they plug in the cable first so they could charge my phone. Let's go ahead and do that and we plug in the phone. And as you'll see, it will pop up uh, a box on the screen that it detected the phone, but we'll go ahead and close it because it doesn't really matter. And as soon as the victim plugs in the phone with this Bluetooth transmitter device, or I could even use another phone if I want, I basically click a button. Before I do it, I'm gonna distract the target. I'm gonna maybe ask a question so they're paying attention to me. I click the button, it pops up just for a second on their computer, and when that's done, it's game over. They've already been compromised. So now, I let the, the phone charge enough to where it turns on. I thank the victim very much. They hand me back my phone, they hand me back my cable, and now I go over to the attacker computer. We'll go ahead and plug in the cable. But I want to show you if we launch Chrome and we go into the save passwords here, there's absolutely no passwords that are stored. If we try, for example, going over to gmail.com, I'm not even logged in. So what I do with my transmitter device, and it doesn't matter, I don't have to hide it because now I'm in my personal space, I basically fire up a payload. And what this payload is doing is it's taking all the information from the victim's browser and it's importing it into my browser on my computer. So effectively, I'm becoming the victim. So now let's fire up my browser. And it changed a little bit. Here we have Kevin up here. We'll go ahead and click on Kevin. We'll click where the stored passwords are kept. And now, wow, we have a bunch of stored credentials but I want to get access to the password, so I, simply, so I simply click on it. It's going to ask for my login password to this computer. I put it in over here, and I could basically decode 
all the stored credentials of the victim over here. So now I have their websites, I have the usernames, and I actually have their login passwords. Now, let's take a look and see if I'm logged in now to the same sites they are. So we'll go over here to gmail.com and I'm logged in. Let's go over here, let's go to Facebook. I'm logged into their Facebook account. Let's go over here to Twitter. I'm logged into the victim's Twitter account, which is my Twitter account. Let's go ahead and try uh, Office 365. Everywhere this victim was logged into, I'm now logged into. And, it, and for example, for logging into Office 365, I have two-factor authentication enabled. It doesn't matter. And let's try one more important site. That's Amazon Cloud Services. And when I go to that URL, I have to go ahead and go through this process, my account, I have to click on the management console. And then I have to click, now I'm logged in without, uh, without having to put in a password because again, the victim was logged in. So essentially what I did, as soon as the victim plugged in my cable, I basically exfiltrated all their information and now I'm able to import it into my computer and gain access to everything that they're logged into. And again, all the login credentials they stored in their browser. So what we need to do is we need to stop, look, and think before plugging in any device into your computer, whether, whether it's a computer mouse, whether it's a charging cable, it doesn't matter. You still have to be cautious because you never know if a threat actor weaponized that device. And secondly, you should never ever store your passwords in your browser. You should always use a password manager. So stay safe, everybody.